in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen my dear brother and sister we the carmelite fathers greet you in the name of jesus and warmly welcome you to carmel light reflection on the day's readings it's the 24th of march the third sunday of lent let me read today's first reading from the book of exodus chapter 3 verses 1 to 8 and then 13 to 15 in those days moses was keeping the flock of his father sorry father in law jethro the priest of midian and he led his flock to the west side of the wilderness and came to horeb the mountain of god and the angel of the lord appeared to him in a flame of fire out of the midst of a bush and he looked and behold the bush was burning yet it was not consumed and moses said i will turn aside and see this great sight why the bush is not burnt when the lord saw that he turned aside to see god called to him out of the bush moses moses and he said here i am then he said do not come near put off your shoes from your feet for the place on which you are standing is holy ground and he said i am the god of your father the god of abraham the god of isaac and the god of jacob and moses hid his face for he was afraid to look at god then the lord said i have seen the affliction of my people who are in egypt and have heard their cry because of their taskmasters i know their sufferings and i have come down to deliver them out of the hand of the egyptians and to bring them up out of that land to a good and broad land a land flowing with milk and honey to the place of the canaanites the hittites the amorites the ferizites the hivites and the jebusites then moses said to god if i come to the sons of israel and say to them the god of your fathers has sent me to you and they ask me what is his name what shall i say to them god said to moses i am who i am and he said say this to the sons of israel i am has sent me to you god also said to moses say this to the sons of israel the lord the god of your fathers the god of abraham the god of isaac and the god of jacob has sent me to you this is my name forever and thus i am to be remembered throughout all generations the word of the lord thanks be to god
Today, my dear friends, we are invited to reflect on the theme put off your shoes and stand on the holy ground. A God is a holy God who calls us to be holy. He makes us holy and nothing unholy can stand before him. We are called to put off our shoes so that we are made worthy to stand on a holy ground in the presence of God. In the first reading, we read the encounter of Moses with God. Moses was chosen by God to liberate his people from the Egyptian oppression. He was strengthened by God through a vision of himself on the Mount Horeb, which was called the mountain of God before he began his mission. He had to put off his shoes so that he was worthy to stand before the Lord. He encountered God in the burning bush. The fire signifies both the presence of God and the afflictions and the trials of the people. The phenomenon experienced by Moses was indeed an extraordinary and supernatural one. Can a small and, hu and limited human mind comprehend the mighty and eternal mystery of God? Can you? Moses thought that by turning aside and seeing the sight of the burning bush, he could get adequate explanation for his vision and could understand what was happening there. My dear friends, we need to be liberated from our own thoughts, ideas and conclusions regarding the divine mysteries to stand before God who is I am who I am. We need to put off our shoes of our limited ideas, prejudices and our own ways of thinking. As we put off our shoes, when we enter a holy place, because it carries with it dust and dirt, so we should give up everything that does not permit us to stand in the presence of God. In the Gospel, my dear friends, you can read it for yourself. Uh, Luke chapter 13 verses 1 to 9 Luke chapter 13 verses 1 to 9 Jesus gives a strict warning to all those who fail to repent and change their way of life while presenting the true face of the Father. He presents two recent incidents and the story of the fig tree to drive home this message. People had wrong conceptions regarding sin and punishment. It was quite common to believe of sufferings as the punishment or the consequence of sin. Jesus corrects their false notion of sin and punishment. Do you think that these Galileans were worse sinners than the other Galileans? Because they suffered thus? I tell you, no. But unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. The Galileans did not die because of their sins. They were not worse sinners than others. But if we do not repent, we will also meet the same end. 
does someone find joy in any act of sin sin brings along with it pain and suffering we need to put off our shoes in order to be freed from the false notion of sin and punishment and have a clear idea of sin that leads to untold miseries to oneself and to others jesus confirms his teaching by illustrating a parable of the fig tree the owner of the tree expects figs from the tree when he does not find them at the advice of the wine dresser he allows him to dig it to manure it and wait patiently for one more year if the tree does not bear fruit within a year it will meet its end it will be the case of every sinner who does not repent my dear brother and sister we have to put off we have to put off our shoes by changing our idea of god who patiently waits for our conversion let us pray my dear friends as we find in the bible diary janet preeti de silva from mulund mumbai cecilia lasrado from derebai mangalore are celebrating their birthdays we wish them happy birthday and we pray god's choices blessings on them it's also the death anniversary of thomas mathias may the lord grant him eternal rest we remember all our personal intentions and today is the world tuberculosis day tb let's pray for all those who are suffering from that sickness we pray for all our benefactors donors well wishes and also all those who have sent their prayer requests let's also remember all our students who are writing the exams and the others who are preparing for it let's pray for the success of the general elections in india let us pray god heavenly father help us to repent of our wickedness and bid us to abide in your presence amen have a great sunday my dear friends may almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit amen and this is father steven pereira carmelite priest if you want to receive this audio on the previous night kindly whatsapp your full name and place to my number my number is 9481263229 9481263229 don't forget to share this audio with your friends and contacts see you tomorrow bye bye